Hi everybody, uh, back at home. I'm at home, so I'm wearing the Boston Red Sox hat. I want to do this quickly, so first I'm just going to show you. Um, you should be doing these problems, only the multiples 3, so like problems 3 and 6 and 9, 12, the ones over here. Alright, the same things with down here, and try and get them all done. You need to practice these. These problems here are all the most important ones you'll be doing um, for the future and for the next uh, couple of chapters. So please learn how to factor well and learn all the tricks. Um, if we go back to the challenge, these are a bit difficult. I only wanted you to do one and two, and I, did I ask you to do three, or was it just eight? Yeah, no, one, two, and five. So you have to find some C. This is kind of difficult, a little bit clever, and I want you to try and figure it out. It's a challenge, so it should be good. So let's go to the chapter, the new chapter that we were supposed to learn on Thursday. So we're working on solving quadratic, which is the ax squared plus bx plus c equations, um, finding square roots. Square roots are those little things like square root of 49 is 7, the square root of 81 is 9. And here we have the product property. Here are properties of radicals. The little radical is the thing that goes above the b here and above the a, which is a square root. So you should be able to follow the properties, the product and the quotient. Look at the variables and then look at an example. You should be able to follow it. So we should need to understand more about square roots. And we can simplify things by multiplying things by saying we have 80 is the same thing as 16 times 5. And you can take 16 and say that that's 4, but 5 has to stay inside. Down here, the same thing. We can do the square root of 4 and the square root of 81, which turns up to 2 over 9. And we can simplify as much as we can. Um, here, 27, what would you do? I would say, hmm, that's the same thing as 3 times 9. And then I would leave the 3 inside and take out the 9 as 3. So it would be 3 times square root of 3. Hmm, understand? Rationalize the denominator is something where you cannot have a square root in the denominator. Just can't have it. So don't have a square root in the denominator. Uh-oh, look, square root of 2 in the denominator. 7 plus square root of 2 in the denominator. We don't like square roots in the denominator. So you have to rationalize it. You multiply both sides by the square root of 2. Notice how 5 square root of 2 equals square root of 5 over square root of 2. We are going to multiply the square root of 5 divided by the square root of 2 times square root of 2 times square root of 2 because square root of 2 times square root of 2 equals 4 square root of 2, which is 2, and square root of 2, 5 times the square root of 2 is the square root of 10. See how this flows? You should be able to realize that square root of 10 divided by 2, there's no radicals or a square root in the denominator, which is the most important part. And the same thing over here. You're going to multiply by the conjugate. The conjugate over here is a plus square root of b. Conjugate is a minus square root of b. So down here, we're going to do 7 plus square root of 2. Square root of 2 can't have it in the denominator. So we're going to multiply it by 7 plus 2 times 7 minus divided by 7 minus, which is like multiplying it by 1. And you end up multiplying, squaring, and all this stuff, and we get this. See if you can do this on your own. So when we solve something also, notice how I can just minus 5 from both sides. We get 3x squared equals 36. x squared, oh, I can take the square root of both sides, and it's plus or minus. Um, looking through here. Um, this is a model of a drop. Well, that's a good way. When you drop something, it has a quadratic as well. Um, and getting down to some of the problems, simplifying, understanding square roots, and solving the quadratics is what I want you to understand. Um, I also want you to do the practice workbook. Have fun. I have nothing else to say. I hope that uh, this was enough for you. Go Red Sox. Have a good time. And be careful and be safe. Have a nice day. Let me see if I can stop it.